Hello, uh, today I'm just going to do an extension to my original uh, YouTube upload about the broad bean and using the Google Assistant to actually do some more intelligent things. Uh, previously, I used uh, the broad bean to send infrared signals to a receiver on the TV, which then translated to movements on the amplifier in the cupboard and the various uh, pieces of content providing machines like a Chromecast and Apple TV uh, into that television then using CEC and return channels to get all that to look like it's automatic. Um, what we've done now is uh, look at the thing called routine. What routine does it takes the commands that you created previously and turns them into a more sensible English commands. Not completely as good as some of the other systems you can get, but it certainly makes it a lot more natural. So what's happened now, I'll just demonstrate. Okay, Google, what's on? Okay, activating the plasma on. So the light strip has come on. Activating the watch ultra. The TV has come on. And you'll see there'll be scattered showers with a forecast high of 31 and a low of 16. There's a weather report I slotted into the whole program as well. So every time I turn on the television uh, this way, you'll get a you know a five-day weather report, which is quite handy. Weather's pretty changeable where I live, so it's always handy to know what's coming up. So there's one more I've done as well, and these can be uh, added to. It's just how good your memory is as to which ones you want to use. Okay, Google, time for music. Okay, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. Okay, Google, stop. That was a mistake. This is what I talk about memory. Okay, Google, music time. Audio. So sure. now nothing Activating will come up the on the screen. Time. What actually happens sure. is Activating the fade. I use this at night. So what it'll do is after I finish washing television, I listen to music. Uh, the TV switches off because you don't need the screen. It's a plasma. It'll burn in. And what happens? The lights go off as part of the routine that I built up previously. But then the lights come back on so you can navigate around the music system. So that's all done. Uh, you can't see anything on the screen, but there's a little Chromecast audio connected to the uh, receiver and it was now set up so that I can control music from my devices. Uh, I have Google Play Music, so it's a handy little system. Okay, Google, activate Watch Ultra. Okay, activating the Watch Ultra. So now it will switch back to uh, the other item. It's not going to do it, it's going to be stubborn. Okay, Google, TV off. Okay, activating the plasma off. Alright, so it switched it off. I'll try that again. Okay, Google, what's on? The plasma on. So see that's one of the problems. It sort of Got it. gets it. It gets all confused, and you have to take it back to a normal state. There's also sometimes a bit of a lag, which is uh, to do with your internet connection. So now it's gone back to a state where I have it. I try to get it into originally, and this is just my laziness because I don't. Uh, do the routines and program them so they're complete. I just program them so they're good enough, which to go to the complete level, you have to be a bit more sensible and a bit more thorough, and you have to remember a hell of a lot. So I just like to get it back to a normal state, which I use all the time, and move on from there. So now, the next one I just say is TV off. Okay, Google, TV off. So what it's done is just linked up uh, several things that I've set up before. One was activate uh, 
plasma off, activate lights off, and uh, because the TV is connected to the receiver through the um, CEC, the receiver switches off as well and everything's powered off. And that's how it is. The only trouble is that the TV is still on with the physical on button. And I usually turn that off as well because standby wastes a bit of power if you're not watching it overnight. So now what I want to demonstrate is just the, um, the apps that you used for the whole process. And there's three. If you can see that. There's the Ewe Link, which is the Broadcom app, and that's how you capture or connect up the Broadcom and capture the uh, various IR signals. Then there's the IHC, that turns it into um, bringing all the devices that you use onto one platform. And then finally, the one we explore today is Google Home. Okay, so Google Home comes up, and now the Having done everything that was in my previous video, you then go into what's called routines. So I've got a few routines here. There's some standard ones. But if you look down the bottom, there's one called what's on, which is using the English words to, um, to bring up the routines. So if I go to edit, no, if I go to routines, and I go manage routines, which is right down the bottom, okay. Now there's some that I've set up and there's some that are standard. Um, the one I'm looking to play with is YouTube because it doesn't have its controls properly done yet. But what I'm going to go for is, where is it? It's not there for some reason. Get. Okay, so the What's On app is the one that I set up. Basically. Um, all it is is just the English language of what we've done before. So there you see the Activate Plasma On, there you see Activate Walch Ultra, and then you see the Show Weather Forecast for Kensington on Goose. And Goose is just the name of my Chromecast Ultra. So basically what it does is it merges things that Google does normally with things that you've created and turns it into something that can be all linked just by saying the basically when I say section of the whole process. Now there's a whole heap you can explore. I haven't done it yet. Um, again, you can see over the right hand side, you can change order. There is a bit of tinkering involved because uh, some of these commands have a delay just because of the way remotes work. And also, like I said, there's often an internet uh, hiccup because of the slow, uh, but anyway, so that's the options that you've got. And that's all I really want to say on that one. So if we want to go back, the other one I use is obviously TV off. So there you go. So it's basically activate plasma off. But when you use that command, I also capture the lights off as well. And again, I said CEC kicks in and switches off the receiver that's in the cupboard as well as the TV. And then there's music on, or music time as I call it. So basically that's at night. Again, it switches over the um, receiver to the Chromecast audio. It turns the television off because the screen isn't needed and it's a plasma, so it'll burn in if you just have the Google Play screen running, which is a real pain. And it also activates what I call the fade, which is basically um, the light strips behind the television alternate between different colours, which is a bit more relaxing on your eyes. Although quite often I'll just switch them all off and just listen to music in the dark. And then when I'm all done, like I said, I just say TV off and it's all done. So all you just do is put the word Google in front and there you go. All right, so that's all I wanted to see. Uh, it's a bit clumsy, it's a bit poorly done, but the idea is there. I think it's quite clever and I think it's useful because um, 
if you've ever tried to guide YouTube uh, on voice activation, you know that language and accents mess things up terribly and you end up with something playing on your little mini instead of playing on your television. So I'm seeing that as a good way of doing it because you can actually physically type in the actual description. And uh, one of those is an ABC news service that I try to watch, but it keeps trying to bring up the American one. So I have to find exact language for the Australian one so that it'll come up with the right news service for the live stream of the TV news service I like. And that's a work in progress. Okay, so that's all I want to say. Bye.